What's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Mike, also known as Hyrule Dude. Today we're going to be going over the ultimate dragon farming method. And with this method, you'll be able to collect 180 dragon horns per hour, which would sell for 54,000 rupees. But don't sell them all because these can be used for awesome upgrades to your armor and great recipe uh, additions as well. So I'm going to grab my great flame blade because we're going to need to make a lot of fires for this method. Uh, if you don't have a flame blade, just use flint and wood and that'll be just fine. So I'm going to cook up two awesome recipes. One's going to be five zap shrooms and that's going to give me 12 minutes and 30 seconds of a electricity resistance, a high level one. The second one is going to be four zap shrooms and one dragon horn and that's going to give me 30 minutes of a electricity resistance. If you use a dragon horn with virtually any recipe, it extends the duration of that recipe by 30 minutes automatically. <laughs> so we're going to head to the Shoda Sa Shrine, and this is in the Faron region. It's by the Riola Spring. Uh, if you're looking at the map, it's at the bottom of the map, and it's east of the Faron grasslands. All right, so let's go ahead and travel there now. And so now we're gonna be behind this waterfall, which is where the shrine is located. Again, I'll show you on the map. All right, so let's go ahead and swim up this waterfall. And when we get to the top, we're gonna wanna head over to the left-hand side. So paraglide to the left. This is the tree right here that we're going to want to set up the first campfire. And we're actually gonna be setting up two campfires, one here underneath these leaves, so we can always start a fire even if it's downpouring, and another one closer to where Farosh the dragon comes out of. All right, let's check out Farosh. He's coming out now. And look how awesome this thing is, man. I just ate the Zap Shroom Skewer, so I'm not worried about being electrocuted. But look how cool this is, man. Super sweet. So there's a few ways you can avoid the electricity. Um, you can either use the recipe I showed you earlier, or you can use the Thunder Helm, um, which is a lightning proof piece of armor. It's kind of ugly, so I like using the hood. And the Thunder Helm is a Gerudo heirloom that you can get from the Gerudo people. Now I am going to set up a fire. So I'm going to use my Flame Spear. But if you don't have one of these, it's okay because you can use some flint and some wood and simply hit it with your sword and you'll create a fire that way. For me, I'm just going to use the flame spear. So we're going to create two fires and one is going to be under the leaves to avoid rain. The other one is going to be closer to where the dragon is going to appear. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and light the fires. I like to light both of them just because if it does rain, I can quickly run to the other one and just light that and rest again. So we're gonna rest till night. And once we wake up, I'm going to light the fire quickly just to get a bit of an updraft, but the dragon itself creates an updraft. I'm gonna aim at the horn and the horn is going to fall in one of three locations. One is going to be right behind us like you're going to see here, which is excellent. Now, you don't want to let them collect too much. Um, maybe once every two minutes you want to go around and pick up all of the horns because it's not like they're going to continue to pile on for hundreds of horns. Um, there is a max, so I suggest every, I don't know, minute or two go around and pick up all of the horns. I'm going to show you the other location that the horns will fall in if you're using this method and sitting in this location. So this one goes off a little bit to the left. It's right there. And I'm also going to show you the third location where these dragon horns will fall when sleeping here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so this is after the 30 minutes are up with my shock resistance food. As you can see, I have no more electricity resistance. I did this for 30 minutes. I just got electrocuted, which wasn't cool. And I'm gonna show you exactly how many dragon horns I've collected. It's pretty freaking sweet. So let's check the third location on where the dragon horns will fall as well. All right, so we have collected 88 dragon horns, and if you were to sell each of these individually, you would get 300 rupees per dragon horn. Um, if you add them to any recipe, it will extend the duration by 30 minutes. So it's a very potent material to have in Breath of the Wild. So let's go ahead and stop by and see our friend Trissa at the Kakariko Village store. And let's see how much she's going to offer us for all of the dragon horns. Are you guys ready for this? Are you, are you people ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Check this out. 26,400 rupees. That is insane. That is so cool. I am not going to sell these though because I like to use these for recipes. I think they are awesome for recipes as you're aware. So I'm going to just hold on to them. But if you wanted to use these horns to make a bunch of money, you can certainly do that. Thank you so much for watching YouTube. I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, this is Mike, also known as Hyrule Dude. Have a great day, later.